Hello and welcome lovely ladies and gents. Today I'm going to show you through the process of how I constructed this dress for a wonderful customer of mine. So stay tuned. My name is Evelyn Wood and I am a dressmaker, sewing teacher, fashion designer and today I have this project here that I'm going to show you through the process of what I did to create this beautiful client garment. So my customer came to me with the brief of a particular dress that she wanted reproduced. Now she had already found the fabric that she wanted to use. Fortunately it matched almost perfectly to the picture uh, that she gave me. The colour was perfect. Uh, it's just adorable in this bright yellow. And so I had this beautiful fabric to work with already. And then all I needed to do was make sure we had enough fabric to use uh, the border print. Uh, so they've got this beautiful scalloped edge around the top frill and the bottom frill as well. So making sure I had to pattern make around using that border print and then of course the design. So the pattern I decided to start with was something similar in shape. Uh, it has the sort of uh, straight lines with elasticated waist uh, and then I went about creating the uh, shoulder, um, you know, this kind of off the shoulder line here. So I've kept, you've got your underarms uh, still free here. With this is like a separate piece over the top. So all of this is elasticated. Uh, which I then created the frill. I did about a double gather for this uh, particular uh, amount that you see there is about double so I've elasticated that in about double and then it's still just uh, buttons down the front um, with these beautiful buttons uh, that my customer also supplied. And now the waist is elasticated as well. Uh, my client uh, felt that she wanted that extra sort of gathering so we did that and then course we've finished it with the beautiful belt and we've done some little um, fabric knotted uh, sort of invisible ties at the side to hold the belt in place. Of course then I created the um, frill that goes on the bottom section of this design and again I kept the same gather ratio so it was about double from the top frill to the bottom frill and just then worked on keeping everything in proportion. So I wanted to replicate it as much as I could to be exactly the same as the picture that she has supplied. So I've really worked out keeping proportions. I needed to translate this into her height of course as well. Thankfully she was quite tall so it was easier to keep those long line proportions. Uh, in the picture you can see it is sort of mid calf so the fact that my client was taller it was a lot easier to keep this in proportion. So I simply worked out uh, proportions of bodice length, the frill length and keeping it all in line with the frill at the bottom so it all blends and is really then aesthetically pleasing to the eye and everything looks in proportion. So it was a little bit of a puzzle piece, uh, puzzling making sure the borders uh, matched up because the actual borders on each side of the fabric there, uh, this one was different to this one so I had to make sure I used this side all for the front, this side all for the bottom frill. Uh, which I didn't realize first up so I was very close there. So I got very lucky that I did realize that before I had cut anything out and then simply cut and constructed. Now I fitted this garment uh, just once previously on my client. We had, I didn't uh, do a toil for this one. Uh, it was pretty simple and I was fairly sure that we'd get it uh, accurate the first time so I just fitted it uh, you know as an outside shell so I had no overlocking and everything was just kind of basted a bit together and our hems were finished nothing like that and then I've just fitted it um, I definitely needed to take in the elastic through the shoulders as this uh, got more gathered with uh, thicker fabric it sort of pulls the elastic out a bit so it needed to come in a lot to actually fit uh, nice and firmly and stay off the shoulder rather than just dropping down. And then that was really the only change that I had to make along the way in this fitting process. So it's been quite smooth and easy which is fantastic. And this is the final garment. So I am really happy with how this one turned out. It looks pretty much exactly like the picture 
that my customer brought me. So it is always great. I mean, having the exact same fabric in color really does help, but I think we've done really well on this project. So that's it from me today. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up so I know that uh, this is something that you want to see more of in the future. And if you're into sewing and dressmaking and vintage fashion and style, this is what I do here on my channel. So make sure that you subscribe by clicking the button below so you'll find all my future videos here waiting for you. Now, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little bit different and I'll see you next time. Bye. May, you want to be in the movie too? Do you want to be in the movie? Look, say hello. Hello, YouTube.